Hey, good morning, everybody. Guess what? It is the first day of install number 11 at First Union Baptist Church. Um, not going to be a very long day because I only got half of the equipment in, but I want to start doing the infrastructure for the rack mount and, you know, start replacing all that stuff in the walls that are in the main um, room. Maybe set up the audio, the new mics and everything with the X32. But that's what we got. Let's get inside and let's get to work. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is relocating a lot of this stuff in here and getting this stuff organized. I'm going to pull down all this extra stuff here. We're going to put a rack mount here. Um, that switch is going to go away when I actually put the Unify one, but I probably will take that down and put that inside the rack right now. Um, and just clean up a lot of this stuff, get the router up off of here, and just have everything just sit up in this corner. Um, and then I got a bunch of surge protectors, so I'm going to take some of that stuff down. And we're just going to go from there. Alrighty, folks, so we got a good start. We got a lot of wires to clean up. Um, I actually ran out of keystones, Cat 6 keystones. I need four more for the block that I took down. Um, I temporarily mounted the rack, the network switch that they have right here until we get the Unify one, which is going to set the UDM Pro is going to be at the top. Then it's going to be the um, 24 port PoE switch. And then I'm going to get another shelf um, to put the um, forward broadcasting unit, which I already have the, one of the distributions. I need to get another one of those. Um, to send that. I want those to be completely separate from what they already have. I'm probably going to mount that to the wall up over here and get that up out of the way. But we're going to clean up all of this. Um, Velcro, zip tie, all of these wires and get them up out of the way. These are all the distributions that are going to be coming out of here into this distribution matrix um, to go to all the TVs. And then... Um, this part will be done. I'm going to get a shelf. I'm probably going to lower the shelf. No. Actually, I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'm going to lower this shelf down so that I can put, I guess, this NAS on here. And then I'm going to get another shelf for the router and probably set it up a little bit higher so that all this stuff can get up off of this wall. Um, technically, I could plug that in over there um, but I don't know I don't think that's necessary but good way to go so far um, I want to make sure I am back over here at least to put those other four keystones I got two bags of them I thought I put them in my bag they're still over at signs and wonders and I used up all the ones that I had left over in my car so I got a box of 50 of those um, and it's going to take me an hour to drive to Signs and Wonders and then come back. So I'm not going to do that. But um, ultimately, all, I'm going to re-terminate all of these. And all those cables that are zip-tied are just going to come straight down into the back of this and get this up out of the way. And we got to test what all those coax cables are going to. But we're doing good. We're doing good. Um... Yeah, so let me let them know that I'm done for the day. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm leaving all this stuff here. Um, mainly just waiting for the check to clear for whatever reason, since this is a new client. Um, I guess my bank is being kind of careful. Just want to make sure it gets processed. It should be processed by, by Wednesday. And then that way I'm going to go ahead and order, pick up the other TV, bring that over here. Um order the unify stuff which should be here by monday and then all of the other stuff i'm gonna order from sweetwater and i should get that maybe by saturday but saturday we're going to be heading up to baltimore to install replace their old sound system um so yeah very exciting day let me finishing up early so i can go get ready for choir rehearsal and then um we will See y'all in day two.
when we actually start doing some serious stuff over here. All right, now the other thing we did since I had it here, we repositioned and hung the ceiling mount for the back TV, took it off of this wall and put it from here. Um, I need to get some zip ties. I have some around here somewhere, some Velcro zip ties. I think I might have dropped them somewhere, but we're going to secure that there. There's already a, a grommet there. We're going to run another um, from the HDMI, no, SDI splitter. We're going to run that out to here to connect to that mountain SDI to HDMI converter on the back. And then, boom, this TV is done. But we're going to get to all the other stuff later. I'll probably put a plate and cover up the, I can't see it, the hole right there. Take this off, put something there as well, too. But um, we're good to go. Now, granted, that TV is not hooked up right now. Um, but we should be fine for right now. And I'll be back tomorrow. So try and get something up in place. And I think the next thing we're going to try and do is maybe try and mount the camera back here tomorrow. Um, I need to get my ladder so we can do that. But I think we should be good. The Thor HDMI um, modulator should be here tomorrow. I mean, be here today. So we're going to be making a whole bunch of coax cables to hook all that distribution up in the back and yeah we're going to mount that camera right up under there so we should be good so i need to make sure i bring my ladder to do that but i think we should be good to go all right folks like i always tell y'all it's an adventure to try and figure out stuff when i'm coming um upgrading stuff so i'm like it had two snakes um two dl16s I had the system on, but the one on the pulpit was off. And I'm like, well, what in the world is going on? So we came back to this closet. And here is the other one that is on 24-7 that a fan was mounted to it to cool it off. <laughs> I, Man, I can't make this stuff up, man. So, like, when all of y'all talking about, like, AJ, you're not professional. I don't do this. But, I mean, you know, I ain't, I ain't trying to harp on whoever did this. And that's not the point of this. It's just the fact I was trying to find where this is. So um, what I'm probably going to do is put this on a smart switch because this should not stay on 24-7. Um, probably put this on a plug somewhere, maybe one of those, um, those TP-Link smart plugs so it can turn on and off and have it turn on and off upstairs so that it doesn't do this. But um, at least I know where this is now. So <laughs> yay. Alrighty folks, it's day two and we are back at First Union and I got my ladder. Plan today is to try and hang at least the front and the back camera. Also clean up and get all of the wiring in that closet nice and neat. Um, and also maybe test out the, um, the Thor HDMI distribution to all the TVs and that's what we're gonna do so let me unpack everything in my car and then we can go from there all right so the plan is I ordered two more shelves one shelf is gonna go in here that's what the Thor is gonna um, rest on the other shelf that would be right here is where I'm gonna move this Buffalo Naz this I'm thinking about repurposing in the media booth area don't know yet but the other thing we're going to do is we're going to cut all these cables and let them run behind this rack and then have them connect to here and then we're going to make cables for all of this distribution here to go to each one of these tvs and there was a dvd player around here but i think i might actually just hook up one of the cameras the ptz cameras that i have and send that into the thor and then see where all of the tv show and which one isn't and then we got to see um what we can do because that looks like that's rg59 because of the diameter of the copper inside of there that should still work but um, 
and it was a humongous spool here. I thought I was going to repurpose that, but that's RJ59. That's not going to work for what I'm doing. But let me finish eating my breakfast, and then we're going to go from there. All right, we cleaned all that up. Have this coming down, and we have a whole lot of extra that we're going to do. So I'm going to repurpose those keystones that I did, and I'm going to cut all this cable maybe to about right here um, because all this extra is not needed since it needs to go here. So it's still going to be a little bit wrapped right here, but more than enough, and we don't need all this extra. So let's repurpose all these keystones and then make a whole bunch of terminations. Oh my gosh, that took a while. <laughs> but we got all of these terminated now. Let's go ahead and connect them up here. And then connect them back to their original places temporarily until we get the Unify switch and the UDM Pro to ultimately help get rid of both. And I guess I should have pulled that off the wall. Oh, it's just zip, it's just zip tied there. We can cut that. Anyway, let's set all this stuff up now. All right, everything is connected temporarily. Started shortening up these cables and getting them more organized. A lot of this is probably gonna screw this into the wall to get this up and out of the way. Maybe something like this. Um, so we can get all this stuff more organized. Let me do that and then we're gonna start making cables now to go from here to each one of these but I need to hook up the Thor right now and get a signal going to it so we can start testing which TVs have uh, are these connected to and whatever <laughs> yeah we'll do that <laughs> all right now as a refresher I will tag the original video to this but this is the same thing that we have at Antioch and uh, I need to do this can I do this with one hand? No. All right. So how this works, we are just going to connect in a HDMI in, and then it goes out over RF. That is what's connected to the coax distribution throughout the building, and that's it. And we're probably going to run another network connection to this. This is where you can remote in and control this and set everything. But you can set it through the front console. But like I said, this is, I didn't realize that this has screws. I can mount this to the wall, but I probably won't do that. Because that's why I got the shelf. Oh well. I just connect this up and then we're going to put a signal to this, maybe just a camera, and then we're going to connect it into this and then just run a connection to one of these and see um, what we get um, to each room hopefully. Now to be quite honest I'm thinking if they have a line already coming here this actually might sit in the media booth instead of coming all the way over here because if there's already a coax here there's no need for this to be here. But either way, we'll figure that out. If it's over there and a line that comes all the way over here, which I believe it is, um, I'm sure it is coming from here. Um, maybe this one, but um, we'll test it. But if it's the case, I'm just gonna put this on the other end of that cable in the media booth. And then all we have to do is just run it to the distribution from here. But we have it connected to a conference. I am getting ready to hook up an HDMI cable to a source. And I have it set to channel eight right now. So we'll see what we can get off of that. Cause actually we should be able to get something without hooking up a source now that I think about it. Let me see if I can find a remote um, to the TVs and we'll see if we get something. All right, so we got a TV set up and it looks like the coax that was behind here wasn't connected. So I terminated that and the little piece broke off but it is connected. At this point, I'm just scanning for channels, and I don't know what line that is. So I guess I'm going to redo this again. But let me put my line tester so I can find out which jack that actually is. All right, so we finally got something here. So yay, that's working. So I'm just making 
all these other connections back here and now I gotta rework how I'm gonna clean all this up here I don't know which one is which I guess I could unplug it and just relabel this on which one is which um, but we're gonna clean all this up and rewire it appropriately and relabel it so we know which one is which and that's not it because it's still on anyway trial and error and we're gonna go probably move now over to the sanctuary and at least start putting these mounts in place in the back camera all right all right so we got the TV down I'm getting ready to mount the temporary position measure where the camera is going to be I'm gonna probably put it right here but the TV that's gonna go up here is a lot bigger so <laughs> I might need to reposition it, but hey, we'll go from there. We can always adjust it from there. Alrighty, we got this camera mounted. Cables are already ran. They're not connected to anything. But since I got some help here, I'm gonna try and put the mount here for this TV and maybe do it here. We only got one TV, so I may try to hang the TV too while I'm up there. So I just need to get my drill, pre-drill some holes and then put the mounts and then we're good to go. All right, we got one TV mounted. I'm getting ready to hang the PTZ mount and the camera in the center. And I'm gonna try and see if I can at least do the mount on this other side as well too. Don't have the TV, but at least can put that up there. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, got the center camera mounted, have the mount for the other TV mounted. All we gotta do is put the TV up there um, I really wish I had the TV here because I might have to pull this whole thing down and run the power cable through there. Um, but we'll see. Um, but at this point, the only other camera we need to mount is going to be over here somewhere. And then run the cables across to where that is. I don't have the time to do that today. but. We made very good progress. We want to have all the hardware installed, and then all we got to do is run a cable over there, run a cable over here, and then loop all these cables up somehow, maybe come around and then go up in there, or actually just drill a hole up in there somewhere where the attic is, and then drop the cables down. We're going to do an Ethernet and an HDMI cable here, 100 foot, go all the way back there another hundred foot which over here which is overkill but we got it and then um, SDI or RG6 over here because I already have the I don't know if you can see it but I have the SDI to HDMI converter right there the other one's gonna go in the same location on the other TV so <sighs> good work good work good work um, I think that's about it. I need to get home so I can get cleaned up and then head over to Abundant Life to do some training. Um, we're going to, the TV that's in the fellowship hall, that's what's going to go back here. We might need to change that mount, but we will address that. Not tomorrow. I think I might be heading down to Hampton to try and see a friend from college that I haven't seen in years. She's over here with family. Um, and I'm probably going to go down there and holler at her for a little bit and then head back because I got choir rehearsal. So um, link it down below to everything that we're doing here. Um, wrapping up day two. I don't think I put day one out. So it's one and two is combined on here. But um, we'll be back. And I didn't realize how fast this is. We need to have everything installed by second Sunday um, for Palm Sunday which technically as long as I can get the networking stuff in and then worst case scenario, even if the networking stuff is in the air, all the camera stuff and everything will have more than enough time to have that set up. But, um, yeah, yeah. Doing good. Doing good. I guess while I'm here, I guess I could connect the other, um, HDMI to SDI converter up there for the TV that's hanging up there. Might as well do that. But, um, yeah. I might be back here. I uh, need to move my stuff out of the way because I doubt I'm going to be back here um, any sign the rest of this week So, because we're going to Baltimore on Saturday. All right, folks. We'll catch you on the next video later.